the machine configuration that we're going to be looking at today is one of our low end feed row pre-build palletizers. We're going to show the concurrent stretch wrapping, which is a big advantage for the top tier solution. Uh, we'll be able to show the modularity of the design and then talk about some of the other features that are available with this particular configuration and others in our product line. So with that, we're going to head over to the infeed and we're going to get this thing going. We're going to start out overhead with, uh, with an overview of the machine. You can see we've got cases coming in uh, to the bottom left, coming through the meter belt area, then the turn area, and then our row form conveyor. Product will then be swept out onto a pre-build deck. The pre-build deck elevates up to the layer head and sweeps product out onto the layer head. You'll notice four side layer conditioning on the layer head during a layer deposit. So we're squaring up layers every time. You can also notice all the modules of the machine. We have our discharge conveyor to the right, pallet dispenser to the top, and the stretch wrapper uh, to the left. All those modulars can move in, in many different locations. So uh, we've got a very high level of layout flexibility as well. The concurrent stretch wrapper allows us to bring two traditionally separate systems together, the palletizer and the stretch wrapper. And so with that, uh, we're able to offer the most compact palletizing solution in the industry. So Top Tier offers a comprehensive line of both low end feed and high end feed layer conditioning palletizers, all available with concurrent stretch wrapping. We also offer a low cost entry level uh, robotic pick and place palletizer. And for bag applications, we've got our hybrid Robo Tier palletizer. Our low end feed conventional palletizers are generally one to three layers per minute. Our high level in feed are going to be one to up to even five layers per minute, uh, depending on pallet pattern uh, and other requirements. Take a look at the in feed here. <laughs> so we're seeing cases come through a meter belt area, and then a turn area, and then at the far side we've got a row form conveyor. So the meter belt turn area and row form is going to be common to all of our low end feed and high end feed layer conditioning palletizers. This is our bump turn device shown in this video here, which is by far our most common. We've got other turning methods for uh, handling other, uh, other product type bags, uh, bundles, uh, trays, etc. I'm standing here at the discharge. We're going to be able to see the concurrent stretch wrapping in action here. So we're just going down to deposit a layer. Once we've deposited that layer, our turntable in the load build area is going to rotate. We've got our stretch wrap mast on the back end. We can switch over to the stretch wrap view. Okay. So here we've just put the top layer of the load uh, onto the pallet. We have done our wrap finish sequence. We've cut the film and wiped it against the side of the load, and now we've discharged it. So what we've got here is a fully contained, fully stretched wrap pallet load um, and off for shipment. So uh, it's all, all done there. We'll go back to the stretch wrap view. So this angle is showing a pallet exchange. And what's happening is we're going to pay the stretch film out over the top of the empty pallet. And we use the weight of the product under layer one and two as a film clamp, essentially. So we're getting rid of a film tail the way we do that. This is where our HMI is located. I'm just going to point this out real quick, and then we'll head back out to the load discharge. Uh, the standard uh, location for the HMI operator control is typically at the MP conveyor, which gives you good uh, visibility throughout the machine. It also gives you good proximity to the entry conveyor for case count adjustments. If you need to adjust a case or pull a damaged case out, you can do that. Uh, we're going to talk briefly about our safety. Uh, safety is one of the more frequent questions that come up. 
uh, in terms of uh, safety standards, what comes with the machine, and how we're mitigating some of these hazards. So uh, first we'll talk about uh, the doors. So the machine is running in auto still. The door handle is locked during normal operation. So if I want to get into the machine, I need to press uh, this request access button. There's going to be a request access button at each door location. And so once I press this, the machine will go into a plan stop. Once it confirms it's in a safe state, it'll go green, and then I can open the door. So on the back of each door latch assembly, I've got an internal release handle here. So if someone were to become inside the cage and need to get out, they can quickly get out and send the machine into an e-stop condition. We've also got a local lockout tag out at each door location. Uh, something else to note, when any door is open, the machine is truly cold. There is not any high voltage uh, outside of the main electrical enclosure. So safety is always a, a big part of the conversation and design. Um, any gravity hazard, anything going up and down, stretch wrapper, layer head, pre-build, uh, we're going to have dual safety pins that are monitored on any one of those corners. And so we'll be able to ensure that uh, those pins are engaged before confirming we're in a safe state. Maybe the last element of our safety features that I'll talk about, the only open side of the enclosure is going to be our load discharge where we have a set of light curtains there. So uh, during operation, the light curtains will be engaged. They are tripped. Uh, the light curtains will send the palletizer into an e-stop condition. Uh, when a discharge is happening, um, it is muted. Check out our website, toptier.com, and please reach out. We'll see you. Thanks.